You want to know, is it peppy? Does it go? Well, yes, it does. It goes really well. In this day and age where everything is so digital and interconnected via the internet, it is still rather strange that we have to rely so heavily on essentially fossilized dinosaurs for our motor vehicle's propulsion. Many manufacturers have adopted electric vehicle plans or EV strategies. The latest one is Volkswagen. And this is one of their first offerings, in a way. It is the VW e-Golf. It is a full electric vehicle based on the Golf 7. This vehicle is not for sale in South Africa, but it's been in Europe since 2014. Volkswagen South Africa just brought a handful in to test the public's reaction. So I get a chance to drive this, and VW wants to know what you think about electric vehicles. And I know you're rather curious, so let's find out what the VW e-Golf is all about. The first thing you notice is that it is, well, virtually deadly quiet in here. The loudest noise is either when you close the door or you crank up the air con. It does have air conditioning, it has all the mod cons. It is a regular Golf comfort line in here. I think if you had to just take a quick glance at this and not study all the little ins and outs, you'd be hard pressed to tell that it's a full electric vehicle. The e-Golf is fitted with a 35.8 kilowatt battery pack. It is a lithium ion battery pack and it is rechargeable from as little as 3 volts all the way to a massive 50 volts of current. It'll take you about 12 hours to charge this battery completely from zero to 100% on a regular wall outlet, 120 volt outlet, but pushing 3 volts into the battery. It'll take 5 hours if you ramp that up to a 5 or 7 volt charging system. But if you go with that rapid charging 50 volt system, you're going to get about an 80% charge in under an hour, 40 minutes. That is going to give you a theoretical range of between 190 and 230 kilometers. When we say theoretical, it all depends on things like temperature, driving style, how many of the accessories you're using. It's still very much the same as a petrol engine. Your fuel consumption is dependent on how you drive the vehicle but it is beautifully quiet in here. It drives just like a Golf. You can hardly feel the weight. But I know that you're interested. You want to know, is it peppy? Does it go? Well, yes, it does. It goes really well. You're going to get 100 kilowatts from the motor, 290 Newton meters. And of course, because it's electric, it comes instantly. And that instant sort of torque delivery happens everywhere. So we're, we're cruising here at about 60 kilometers an hour. Part throttle, put my foot down, and it's like you've just launched it. It is brilliant. In terms of overtaking and passing, it starts making you a little bit cheeky. Of course, that is going to affect how many kilometers you can drive. And our range has just taken a nice tumble just because of those few little squirts but there's regenerative braking as well. So as soon as I let off of it, there's a bit of a resistance that's applied and that starts charging up the battery. So it's one of the very few cars that the more you brake, the more range you get. You can actually watch the numbers climb. But a big question for everybody is, what is it going to cost to charge this vehicle? Well, electricity is a funny thing because it doesn't cost the same everywhere in the country and depending on how much electricity your household uses that affects how much you are charged. It'll cost you as little as 50 Rand for a full charge. That is from the wall outlet, that's not using one of the power pods. Uh, that may cost a little more. Work on an average of about 70 Rand for a full charge. I think that the execution of the e-Golf is brilliant. It looks like a regular Golf, for the most part. There's a few things that tell you that it's electric. It drives disturbingly familiar, very much like a regular Golf. It has all the space. There's the same sort of legroom and headroom in the back. The boot space remains unchanged. This e-Golf can slot into your life without requiring 
much change from you. A few little habit changes, but that's about it. And the only time you're ever going to visit a garage is to have your tire pressures checked. Unfortunately, we can't give you a price on this because, well, VW South Africa is not going to be selling these. This is the first part of a three-pronged approach to test the waters for EV. The first step is the e-golf. Get it out there, gauge the public perception of it. Next one is going to be ID3, which they're going to bring in in limited numbers, once again, just to test the waters. The third phase of it, well, that's hopefully going to see the ID4 go on sale to the public as soon as 2022. If you get the opportunity to sample one of these VW electric vehicles, I suggest you go and do it. Ask the questions that you need to, and I'm sure that you'll be pleasantly surprised. Yes. So while I'm driving like this, I can just put my foot down and it goes. What? There's no kick down. Oh, that's nice. Wow, that is instant. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's scary. <laughs>